What's going on, everybody? Midwest Two Review here, back again. Yeah, working on the uh, Blue Point um, multimeter. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm having the hardest time. Just lost the button now. Had having the hardest time locating the the uh, fuses for this Blue Point uh, multimeter. It's like a 10 amp and a uh, two amp um fuse in the uh, <clears throat> control board the control board is actually in the car so i can't show you guys but um i'm having a hard time trying to procure that i've went to like three or four places and nobody has it i wish i wish i wish there was still radio shacks around but um i think is that's the part number there for the scanner i believe that's what or scanner for the multimeter i believe that's the part number i could be wrong um but nonetheless, I'm trying to find infuses for that so I can go ahead and get this up and running. I wish I had a part number on the actual scanner itself, but it did not come with one. Maybe anyone out there that has one that looks like this could hook, hook me up and let me know where I can procure um, some fuses because I cannot seem to locate them. All right, guys. So that's one project uh, you can see kind of box is filling up with stuff here uh we will be visiting a snap-on dealer tomorrow um hopefully that's the plan i do have a fairly busy day at work uh, but i am working from home so um we'll see how that goes how that plays out um let's see here what i want to show you guys i went and saw my matco dealer um yesterday and uh i was warranting some items uh, I guess I'll show you first what I warrantied out. Uh, I got a 14, 12 point, um, got a little 11 millimeter, which I have no idea what I would use this on, but it is Matco, not the ADV brand. And I figured, well, the one I had needed to be warrantied, so I bought it. <clears throat> also got really happy about this. It's kind of weird, but 10 millimeter um, wobble. This is the, nut, the pinless style. And what I mean by really happy about it is that I really want to try out the Matco um, uh, swivel sockets. I have a full set up to 24 from 8 millimeter to 24 no skips. That is Cornwell. Uh, one of the only Cornwell tools I really own with the exception of like a socket. Um, and I'm thinking about trading the Cornwell sockets in for these Matcos. I don't know yet. So I thought I'd try it out and see how I liked it. Uh, random other sockets that I had to warranty out, um, but I'm trying to work on this 10 millimeter set. So the idea is um, I've looked at the sets offered by, um, what is it? Uh, Duralast, I think, um, who else? O'Reilly's Auto Parts has one, which is like the Power Torque. Uh, and, I, and I may buy it, I don't know. I, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to come up with my own set of, of 10 millimeter sockets ranging from impacts to chromes from three eighths to quarter drive. And I'm almost there. I've got a good, this is this is what I've got thus far. So I've got the magnetic sockets um, or socket. Uh, this is snap-on. I've got a twist socket for broken off fasteners, um, which is really, really nice. That's a blue point. Not exactly snap-on, but whatever. Uh, I've got a Mac Tools, just regular chrome. It's got a little bit of life left on her um, before we have to get a new one. Then I've got a Matco um, uh, chrome stubby. Uh, let's see here. This is a 3H drive snap-on, 10 mil impact. And then a Mac Tools. 10 millimeter, 3 8 drive. I believe this is an impact as well. Uh, I like the um, I like the uh, the Mac impacts. Now I do have a uh, another. Now this is not the this is a pen style one. Um, this is it is Matco I believe, right? Or is this Mac? What is this? This is Matco, and I was using it to help my brother repair make some repairs. And man, it is soft. I mean, look at that. That's soft. Um, I don't know. I I didn't use it that hard, but I mean, it's it didn't really met, um, deform so much on the anvil end, but here it did. And and it was exactly a 
10 or 15 millimeter socket so it wasn't like it was too small but that deformed like crazy so i don't know um, this is obviously the older style but you know it, it still works so we'll hold on to it and uh we'll warranty that out later on as it wears more um but everything else is pretty much good to go but i went on the macro truck to get some items warranty like i said just sockets and i picked up um this um micro bit holder ratchet two inches long quarter inch uh, hex drive easy access versatile uh, you can use it as a torque adapter um, and a crow foot offset wrench obviously there we'll look at it uh it has the finger um, thumb wheel uh and a 60 tooth uh, count um, um gear in there so for and it says it's for high torque applications so nonetheless it is made in taiwan um, I didn't look that up, but here it is. Um, I, I actually like it a lot. Um, and I like it a lot because, you know, obviously you can put bits in there and that's kind of what it was designed for. But I mean, I have fairly large hands, but this thing is tiny. And like I said, it's two inches long. But the reason why I really like it is, if I can find them, and I cannot wait to get done with my other box because stuff is starting to get caught. But these are those snap-on micro bits, um, and it's so hard to get them out of the case. I'm not going to try it, but these micro bits in combination with this ratchet is like the perfect combination. It's really, really nice. Um, I like it a lot, and um, I was trying it out with um, some of these here, and I believe this is the one that I used. Um, so I wanted to just kind of see, so it's the quarter inch drive and I thought, okay, let's see how well those two work out. And, um, I'll show you here and there you go. I mean, that's really, really nice. So you figure if you had yourself a 10 millimeter socket on there and you can never have too many tens. Um, there you go. I mean, that's pretty nice. I like that. Um, I don't think that that's going to be. It's obviously, if you compare that to some of your smaller quarter-inch drive setups, um, it's not going to be that the same. You can see there, oh, maybe so. Maybe that'd be about the same. Maybe that is not the case. It's actually a little bit thinner than this head here, so maybe that will be a little bit better. Um, so it'll get you a little bit closer um, than traditional sockets will. Let's see if I have... And I don't, let's throw something else on there then. Uh, this is also a quarter drive here. Just kind of get a comparison. There you go. So, yeah, depending on the socket, the sockets are the same length. The ratchet's a little bit different. So having that little bit holder like I do in there, it does add some length. So maybe not going to be as com, um, compact as you would like. But certainly, if you're talking about length, uh, you can see there, so you can kind of palm this whole thing. So if you can get your fist in there, you can pretty much snug it up and get things done. Uh, but then you can also throw an extension in here and use it that fashion as well. So I thought that's pretty cool. And the part number on that is AMBH, um, just to confirm, AMBH. So cool. Very, very happy with that setup. Um, and another ratchet. I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more ratchets. But I saw that guy and I was like, ah, got to get it. I think it was like 54 bucks or something like that on the on the Matco truck. Um, Let's see here. What else do we got? I thought I bought something else from Matco. Maybe I did not. Warranty, warranty, warranty. I do have a, the, the latest Matco um, catalog, which I will, or flyer rather. I will share that with you guys. Um, I thought I grabbed something else, but maybe I did not. Maybe just the warrantied items in that. Um, I did get this little tool off of Amazon. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the brand. It's like a it's a offshore brand, but it also has Weha on there as well. So I don't know if it's like for that market and not necessarily the U.S. market. But I'm still playing around with it. It's a basically a, a micro bit holder or screwdriver rather. Um, it's got Torx hex. Um, flatheads, um, Phillips, um, little kit. I don't know. I'm still playing around with it. 
It does have like a spring-loaded case here, and this is metal or aluminum. Um, pretty, really, pretty, pretty nice, but uh, I'm still trying to play that out, kind of get a feel for it before I do any type of review on it. That's going to be primarily for like rebuilding ratchets and things of that nature. So, uh, but yeah, beyond that, um, that's it, I think. Like I said, I am going to the Snap-on dealer tomorrow. Um, I have to pick up a few more things. Um, and uh, I got I got some things that I owe him as far as like some um, casters and stuff like that. that um, we were agreed upon a trade on. So I got to get that done as well. I know he's waiting on those. So we get that deal locked in. Um, there are some other things that I did um, need to buy from him. So we'll finish up that transaction as well. So you guys make sure you tune in tomorrow. I'm gonna drop another video um, to show you guys what we picked up. Um, and then also kind of see what he's got left. I know Snap-on is, the actual Snap-on company is, is coming there to buy a lot of the new stuff that he has that's like brand new, never been touched. Um, and I know they've come up, they struck, finally came to an agreement on what they were willing to pay him. So I don't know what percentage of, you know, costs that they're going to give him. Uh, but I know he was kind of hesitant to sell everything he really wanted to get snap on there to buy the bulk of it. And then obviously there's other things that he was willing to let go. So we're going to kind of see if that transaction has taken place yet. I don't know that it has, but nonetheless, he still sells stuff to me. So I'm happy about it. Um, let me see here. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not really trying to blow, waste your time, but I am trying to think about if I grabbed anything else. I need to get these out of here, but um, I don't have another rack, so I've got to wait till I can get another rack to get this all figured out. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what the layout's going to be with the new, uh, not the new, but the other Snap-on box. <clears throat> I think that um, this box here, like I said, I, the idea was to make that box purely snap on, maybe blue point. Um, but I'm, I'm still, I still don't know, um, as far as like, um, if that's going to happen or how much I'm going to actually, I cannot get that off with one hand. How many, um, how much of the stuff I'm going to take out of this box? I, that, I'm still at a bit of a, uh, I'm still stuck on that idea. Uh, and the reason is, is that I counted today, there's 35 or so snap one rats is in here, which is the bulk of everything. So I could take all those out and be left with the Matco, some other, uh, other brands, Proto, um, et cetera. And that's going to deplete that jar pretty substantially. Um, this jar here, if we took everything out of here, 90% of it is a snap on. Um, I think the only thing that's not is this Matco here. Um, and I've got a scraper back there, but, uh, all and some picks. So, but everything else is pretty much snap on. So that drawer would be basically empty. Um, and then here, um, so snap on, snap on, snap on, snap on. That's not snap on. Those are blue point. They would go. And so the rinse drawer would be okay. I think we would have enough metric and SAE in there to, to be okay. This drawer... Um, I think the majority of the pliers are Nipex or Knipex. Um, so we wouldn't be so bad off on pliers. Um, that tray there, this black tray, these are all snap on. That's all snap on. That's all Mac. That's snap on. So this jar <coughs> wouldn't be so bad off either. Um, and my cat is, I don't know what he's doing over there, but I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this jar will pull, you know, the extensions out, those little ratchet buddy things over there, uh, the bits, the soldering iron, the T-handle, Torx, and a couple of little things, but this drawer wasn't, wouldn't be that bad. So, it may be just a matter of rearranging things around. I do need to go ahead and buck up and get a another set of Matco screwdrivers. Um, I don't know, because I, I like this setup here. And I was like, you know what? I would like to just keep this set up on this box. And I think I will. Um, and that's because I'm gonna take all of this and put that into the Snap-on box. So, and all of that, plus all of that, all of that, all of that, and those. So I could afford to leave those here. 
um, because I'm, these are most commonly grabbed um, screwdrivers, right? Flatheads, Phillips, P, um, number twos, number ones, um, you know, etc. cetera. So um, I'm thinking about leaving those there. Um, I think that makes the most amount of sense. I think I'm probably going to pull off these here. These blue ones, I don't foresee myself going too hard on those um, because the blue is very, very hard to find. And I mean, I had to dig, dig, and dig some more to get all of those. And I don't even know that I got them all. We'll find out tomorrow. I asked um, my guy, Jerry, uh, the snap on dealer, if he had more. He thought he did. He was going to dig for them. So we'll see if he's able to come up with those because that is part of the deal that we struck out uh, for some other trades. So um, we're going to see if we can do that. Um, and then lastly, I guess I can show you guys. Got a bunch of trash over there I got to throw out. Um, we got, I'll bring this over. Sorry, I got kids and you know how that is. Stuff everywhere. So we got this old Snap-on box here. And we'll try to set it down without losing too many tools. Uh, but I got this old beat up, not rusted out, but rusty, um, KRA-109. It's a snap-on. You guys may have seen the photos that I dropped on Instagram. If you haven't, it was underscore tool underscore review. Check it out. But I got this uh, snap-on box off of eBay for about $11.50. Um, and we're going to restore it. Um, it probably won't be done this year. I'll be honest with you. Um, this is going to be a co co coordinated effort because I have to utilize a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, his shop where he has uh, full automotive setup, but um, that's what he does for a living. So what we're going to have to do is um, sandblast the cabinet media blast the, ca the, the box, not the cabinet. Uh, obviously remove all the hardware, polish those up, remove all the dirt and grime and off those. Um, you know, remove all the latches. Um, everything's gotta be, uh, gotta be uh, sandblasted. And then we're gonna powder coat it. He also, oh, actually we're gonna straighten out all of the ripples and uh, I don't even wanna show you guys, it's rough. Um, but for 1150 and the box is relatively straight. <laughs> I mean, you look at, the, you know, you just got to kind of look at it from like what it could be, uh, not from what it is, but what it could possibly be. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to fix all of the, do all the body work on it. The good thing is there's no rust holes. It's not been rusted through. So it all depends on how much eating has occurred on the surface. Um, but I think that could be remedied. Um, I do have a... Um, um, what do you call it? Like a, uh, almost like a sonic tester, I guess, if you will. I can't think of the name of it, but basically I got it back in the day. I won't tell you how you can rub it on the surface and it measures the thickness of the metal. It uses a, like a gel, kind of like what women use for having babies. Um, but it's got another name. We use it for plastics back in the day, but that's here nor there. But basically I can do that and I can test, um, the thickness of the metal and kind of see, how much um, wear or how much uh, rust uh, degradation has occurred over the over the life of the box? So, but it's a KRA one hundred nine. It's old. I think it's probably from the forties and fifties. I'm not a hundred percent certain on that. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a half inch drive box, half inch drive and three eighths drive. Um, we're gonna go ahead and outfit it with all of that, um, and this is gonna be the box that I take with me. Um, I've got a lot of excess tools, um, and, um, you know, things that I don't necessarily have a true, like, you know, I'm not like happy about it or sad about it. Just got like stuff that I got. And I think the goal is to kind of get rid of some of that stuff. Um, and, uh, kind of finish doing what I, what I set out to do this year, which was to, to step into a new game of, tool quality, if you will. So for my sockets, my ratchets, my wrenches, screwdrivers, those four areas there, sockets, ratchets, screwdrivers, wrenches, that's what we're focusing on, on the higher end stuff. Anything else could be mid-level or whatever. Um, but those are the four areas. And I think we've done a good job with that on the channel. So you guys have kind of seen what we've done. So very, very happy with that. But 
that's the plan for this box, but that's a future. That's, that's like spring 2021. Right now, we got other problems we got to worry about, like getting Trump elected. Trump 2020. Sorry, I had to throw that in there. Um, but um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm working on. So uh, that's what I got from Matco. I swear to God, there was something else that I had picked up, but I cannot recall nor remember what it is. Um, you guys, oh, did I show you? May, okay, this is going to be a long one. I'm sorry. I did get some new stuff, and I don't, I, I don't know. I think I put it on um, Instagram, uh, but I got the Snap-on Ratchet here. I think I did a video. I just didn't drop it, um, but it's an SF80A um, half-inch drive uh, flex head ratchet. I love this this bad girl. This is a bad ratchet, um, and I, you know, I was like in love with. I'll show you guys. I was in love with this when I got this one here. And I still think, I still don't know why Snap-on hasn't incorporated that larger uh, joint on all their ratchets. I mean, I would think that that would be like the best design ever. I mean, has anybody broken this the ratchet before? I don't know. Maybe stripped out the gears, but you ain't broke the neck on it. Um, so I thought, <laughs> excuse me, I thought that that ratchet was the beast. And then I picked this guy up here and I'm like, whoa, okay. You know, the neck, it ain't as thick through the neck, but man, this is a heavy duty ratchet. So really, really happy about that. Um, I do have a mat toe back there as well. I'm not going to say one way or another what I feel about the two in comparison to one another. Um, Cause you know, people start, you know, fighting and everything. And I don't feel like dealing with that anymore. I'm tired. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, okay. I have to think about this. I'm getting old. Uh, and then the next thing I got, moving stuff around a little bit, um, I got a new pry bar. Um, here we go. Let's see if I can get that up there. It's a long one. It's a 24-inch one here. It's long for DIY, at least. Um, I can't recall the part number on this guy, um, but it is uh, like an SPB 24 AR, something like that. Um, it is a striking cap one. Um, I don't like it, and the reason why is I'm not a fan of the handle. I think the handle is cheap. Um, it just feels it feels like really really light, like it feels like a kid's toy, um, in my opinion. Now it may be very strong, and I assume that it is, given that it is Snap On, and Snap On by far makes some of the best tools, if not the best tools. Um, but when I compare that to like this guy here. Um, this one here is so much better. Uh, this is so much better. Um, and it's heavier and it uh, feels like it's got more quality built into it. Um, I just don't like that handle. And I think I've heard people say before that they didn't like that handle as well. And I'm joining the bandwagon. Um, I've got even this older guy here. This old one here feels a lot better than that one does. I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't use pry bars a lot, but I don't know. I, I don't think I'll be grabbing that one off the jump. Um, you guys saw the other ones I've got, smaller ones here, eight inch, and then I think I got like a 12 or something like that. So pry bar game, good to go. We're done with pry bars. But all right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, hope you like what I picked up. Um, the KRA 109, the, the Matco Ratchet, a couple of pry bars, the Snap-on half-inch drive ratchet. So we're looking pretty good. Tune in tomorrow. Um, we're going to do a follow-up to the Matco or the uh, Snap-on dealer visit, see what we can pick up there. I'm not saying it's going to be a whole lot, but we're going to grab some stuff and uh, we'll share it with you guys. So, all right, guys, catch you in the next video. Peace.